All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to create a chart or a graph that you're going to use in Science 10 on Activity 11A. And what you'll notice is I've already typed in all my data in here. And so we're just going to create the first chart. So what I do is, is highlight the data. We're in Microsoft Excel. And the other thing, I'm working on a Mac and Microsoft Excel. So if you work on a PC, it might be a little bit different. If you're using OpenOffice, it's going to be a little bit different. but so let's get going here. So first thing I'm going to do is highlight that. Then what we need to do is insert a chart. And what you'll notice is here, you'll come up. Hang on, let me just move this down a bit. Um, you, when I do that, you've got a whole bunch of different charts, area bar. And the one we want is XY scattered. And then the other one we want, I'm just moving this stuff around so we see everything. And I want this one right here. And what you'll see is our chart show up. Let me just move this up a bit. Um, and just there so we can see everything. So the first thing is I do not need the legend. So I'm just going to click on that and hit delete. And then the other thing here is we need our X and Y. And so what we do is this is the the inspector so what you do is you just click on the inspector and everything shows up so we got the, the vertical and the horizontal horizontal is the left and y, the the left and right so we're going to type in year so as i type in year here it is showing up down here so perfectly so the the up and down we need the actually whoops cancel as i actually i'm going to control c whoops I don't want that there, control C, or I'm just copy, and then I'm just going to delete it, delete that, then I'm going to go over here, and in the vertical, I'll just type, just paste that in, and you can see the gigatons, -ish. I put it there, and it's showing up right there. And the other thing I need to do is this too should be a subscript. Click on there in the inspector. And then the last thing we need to do or is it wants to you to draw the best fit line in here. So and what we do is go up to where is it? Not tools. I think it's under chart. Oh, okay, first thing we need to do is the add tread line. That's the one we need. But what we need to do first is cl click on one of these dots. Now we'll go up to add tread line. And then what you'll see, I'm going to Actually, we're going to change the color so it's the same color as the dots. What you'll see now, once you do that, it makes the X and Y go below the zero, and we don't want that. So we got to get rid of this minus 5. So I'm going to click on the, the numbers here, just double-click on it, and then the pop-up shows up, and then we need to change the scale, and the minimum, we're just going to change that to zero. And with the other ones, you're going to have to play around with these, OK? So everything fits, and you want the best fit. So I click that. Now, much better. Now, this is the graph that we need to put into our Word document. So what I'm going to do is just uh, click on the outside here, right click, and copy. And when I do that, then you'll paste it in your Word document. And you'll have to do that for each one of these things. The, uh, we just did one for industrial CO2. Then you have to do one for the CO2 concentration and do one for the temperature.